Welcome. Please tell us a bit about yourself. Um, uh, my name is Osa Roos. I am a producer at Avalanche Studios. Uh, I've been working in the business for about 12 years now. I uh, started out as a game or level designer, then turned into a game designer, then turned into a lead game designer, and then a senior game designer, and then a creative director, and then a producer. So, What does a producer do? A producer makes sure, makes sure that the uh, work uh, proceeds as planned. We do a lot of planning. Uh, we do a lot of um, facilitating for the teams to make sure that they can work, that there are no obstacles. Uh, they have all the software, all the hardware that they need. Uh, we solve problems, basically. What other disciplines do you interact with? All of them. <laughs> So, uh, but mostly on a on a lead basis, I would say that we we do a lot of uh, uh, since since production is sort of a the top layer of game produ uh, game production. Uh, we usually interact the most with the leads uh, for the different disciplines, and then we um, I mean we're, it's not like we're totally separate from the teams, but we do a lot of our our work together with the leads. Okay, let's say. Uh, could you tell us some other projects you've worked on so far? Oh, I've worked on so many. Um, I've worked on uh, mobile games back in the zeros, uh, 2000, around 2000. I worked with mobile games, and that was before mobile games became so, became a hit. So um, that was kind of interesting. Um, I've worked on. Simulation games. Uh, I've worked on, especially uh, one called Habo Islands to, at Sulak in, in Finland. Um, I worked as a world lead for Just Cause 2. I hope that most of you are familiar with Just Cause 2. Um, and now I'm working on a yet undisclosed game uh, with Avalanche. So. How long have you been with Avalanche? Um, I was with Avalanche for uh, two years, the first time. Uh, then there was the financial crisis and I got laid off, or laid off, I don't know what you call it in English, but they had to let me go because of work, you know, they didn't have enough uh, space for everybody. And then I came back about one and a half, one year and eight months ago as a producer. Uh, games is said to be a very rapidly changing industry. Uh, How has that affected you and what do you do to keep up? Well, it hasn't affected me that much. Um, I mean, game design and production is a very, it's fairly static uh, set of skills, I would say. Uh, I don't need to know the latest in, in uh, programming. I don't need to know the latest in, in um, animation and so on. So it hasn't affected me that much. The only thing that does affect me is the fact that uh, production methods get more refined, get more uh, advanced as we go along and we find out more about how to manage teams and so on. And that's something that I can sort of read up on, on Gamma Sutra and so on. Uh, what inspired you to get into game development? It was actually an accident. Uh, I started out as an industrial designer and then uh, I was going to do my master's thesis uh, and I couldn't find a place to do it. And I was also interested in, in um, uh, what's it called, UI, user interfaces. So I got a um, um, uh, master thesis place at uh, PicoFun, which was the mobile games development company I was talking about. And when I'd done my master thesis, which was about uh, role playing games on mobile platforms, um, I got a job as a, as a game designer. Now that you work with games, is it like you expected? Well, I didn't exactly expect anything. So um, yes and no. I mean, it's a, it's a tough job, a lot of hours put in, but it's also very much fun. I mean, it's a creative business. I, I really enjoy it. Do you have any advice for people who want to get into game development? Um, well, be professional. Don't see it as a, as a cool thing to do. See it as a chosen profession. Make sure that you're good at what you do and make sure that you're professional about what you do. Um, it's not a game, it's actually a job. So that would be the advice that I have. Thank you. Thank you.